Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Paige and this is my Great Pyrenees Mellow. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the three common health problems Great Pyrenees can develop. So this is not a very like exciting subject or a subject that anybody really wants to talk about, but I really think it is something that needs to be talked about because it is the sad part of owning dogs. And just to help prepare people who are interested in getting a Great Pyrenees or if you just really love the breed. So we're going to go ahead and get on with the video. So as I said, it's not a very fun subject to be talking about like health problems. And a lot of dogs get health problems, but I'm just going to be covering the three main health problems to look out for when you do get a Great Pyrenees and just some health problems that um, can develop. Now there are some ways to help prevent these problems or help like keep them from happening until later in their life, but some of them just occur whenever. So we're gonna start off with number one. So the number one most common health problem that Great Pyrenees will develop is hip dysplasia. So it is basically CHD, which is canine hip dysplasia, and it's something that affects their hips as they get older. So no, some dogs can have it when they are younger, like Great Pyrenees, they can develop it when they're younger, which is why you really wanna look out for that when you do get a puppy, like a Great Pyrenees puppy, but it's generally something that seems to affect them when they're older, but there are ways to help prevent it and stuff like that. So canine hip dysplasia, it is really difficult. It's basically puts pressure on the dog's joints mainly on their lower hip area, and it can cause them a lot of pain. Um, it can cause them pain, it can cause them discomfort, and eventually it could lead to having to put them down depending on the quality of life that they're actually living. So there are a couple of ways to help, like not almost prevent it, but help like keep it from happening later in life. So that is to try and limit activities that could affect their hips. So one product that I would definitely recommend getting when they are younger, we currently have the this product, but Mellow doesn't really like using it because we just recently got it from, and that is stairs. So stairs for your car. Mellow, he goes in our cab on our truck, so it's just a cover on the back of our truck. I'll insert a picture, but he, we have these stairs that go up to the cab, and that definitely helps take pressure off their joints when having to get in and out of a car. Definitely highly recommend getting that product. Another thing which you can talk to your vet about is putting them on some type of hip supplement, like helping prevent it. And I actually just recently got him joint treats. So you can give these to any dog at any age. Um, they're just treats that help, help like give them more nutrients and help them have their hips stay like healthy, stuff like that. And there are other ways. I'm not a professional, um, not a vet or anything, but these are just some like things that I researched and stuff like that. So now we're gonna go on to the second most common um, health problem in Great Pyrenees. And that is cancer. Sadly, a lot of dogs get cancer the older they get and it can affect them. Um, some dogs can get it when they're younger. This specific cancer is called arstrocoma. It, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, it is basically a bone cancer. So that is a type of bone cancer that can happen in dogs. Um, generally, it does affect them, like all of their bones, and it does, it is sadly a cancer that can kill them pretty quickly and um, not really something you can really treat, but it does happen, especially with bigger dogs who do tend to have joint problems and hip problems and bone problems because they are bigger dogs. Okay. So the third health problem that you generally see in Great Pyrenees is heart problems. So there's a lot of different heart problems. The, spe spe the, the specific one I'm talking about is going to be the valve displacement. So the valve displacement is basically when a valve is displaced in their hearts. Um, them being bigger dogs, it can happen a lot more often than it would in small dogs. And that's also something with the hip dysplasia. It's generally seen in bigger dogs and older dogs, the older they get. Um, but the valve displacement does affect the dog's heart and obviously can lower their lifespan by a lot. And it does affect them by causing pain, stuff like that. Again, I said, as I said, I'm not a vet or a professional or anything. This is just the three 
health problems that I have researched and they do cause like health problems. They are like the most common health problems and it's just something to look into more if you are more interested in this specific like illness or something. But that is going to conclude the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye!